Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222, just back out in the shop. Today we're going to finally get around to working on the cooling system and replacing the water pump with the new high efficiency pump, so stick around and check it out. Okay guys, today's the day. I know I've been procrastinating, but I'm finally going to get around to doing this cooling system. I've got the parts, so I just want to get it done and over with. Basically, I got to drain the system. We're going to change out the water pump for the new high efficiency pump. I'm going to check the thermostat. We also got to do a bracket for to support that upper rad hose. That'll be part of the project. So that's what we're going to work on today. Okay, most of you guys are familiar with the problem we have with the overheating. Um, I think it's a combination of uh, many little things. So we're gonna try to work on that and get it so the engine runs a little bit cooler. Uh, I think a big part of the problem is the uh, mufflers are kind of right below the engine deck. All that hot air rises up, gets caught in here and causes it to overheat. Um, the other problem being the radiator up in the front. Um, it's got a long way for that uh, coolant to flow, um, hence why we're going to go with a, a new high efficiency water pump to help circulate the whole system. Uh, I'm going to check the thermostat, make sure that's not stuck, see what's going on with that. Um, I also want to add a bracket up there to help support the upper hose, it's a little kinked. Um, so those are a few of the things we're going to do. I also have a fan uh, I think I can mount here to also get some more airflow. Um, and I think while we have this all apart, I'm going to change out the uh, alternator. Um, I've got a new alternator. I believe this one was not working when I tested it. Draining the system was a complete disaster. As you can see, there's the aftermath. I knew it was going to be a mess. I couldn't really line anything up. You're never really sure where the water's going to go. And I got most of it in the bucket. Okay, here are the parts. Um, that is the high efficiency water pump. I've got a surplus alternator. Uh, we'll see if that works. I've got a temperature gauge. A very small diameter plastic fan, I'll talk about that later, and I've got some water pump gaskets. The main reason the, I've got the gauge out is because we are going to mount the uh, sending unit while the system's drained, so that's out of the way. So the main thing is, hopefully the fitment is correct. This is the right water pump, I'm pretty sure it is, but there were some different options for small block Chevys. And alternator, I believe that's going to fit, although I'm going to have to swap out the pulley. And it's the same thing on this. I'm going to have to swap out the pulley. And if that all fits together and uh, the bolt pattern lines up and the spacing is correct, this should go back together pretty easily. <laughs> There was only one bolt on this side. There's a mud dauber in there. And 
wondering, I don't know, I thought maybe the bolt would throw off, but to be broke off. guys as you can see i got the new water pump installed um, however i ran into a little bit of a problem with parts in the process of draining the coolant and adding these brackets to the rad hoses i decided one of the hoses was too long and i wanted something a little shorter i ordered something from napa i picked it up this morning but it is not going to work um, so i'm going to have to take a break from the cooling system uh, I'm going to have to get online and probably source something uh, probably from the U.S. that is the, the exact right hose I need. Um, so we're going to take a break from the cooling system. Uh, I am working on the brackets and some other things, so that's what we'll finish off in this video. Okay, there's the new alternator. Um, I had to modify it slightly to get it to work with the bracket. Um, hopefully this one works. I do have to source a connector for the back, like a four pin um, connector so we can wire this up properly. And I've got the new water pump and a new fan installed. So it's the radiator hose that goes from here and curves around and goes to there. Uh, the one I had was just a little too long. I wanna say a lot too long, probably at least six to eight inches too long. And it was connected here and I'd had this bracket I'm working on, you can see I've added it just to give it some stability and keep it in the right position. And I'm trying to keep the rad hoses stable and 
you know, I don't want them drooping down or anything like that. So a shorter uh, rad hose is definitely called for in this space. So I'll have to order one. guys I'm gonna wrap this video up here um, got quite a bit of work done nothing really finished in this video unfortunately uh, but I know in the next video we're gonna be crossing a lot of stuff off the list things are gonna start to come together we'll get that cooling system completed and a lot of these other little odd jobs are gonna get finished in the next video so stick around for that if you have any questions or comments leave them below and as always thanks for watching